team like Kyrie and KD Or the Lake Show with King James and AD Wish I could match him up with the bad boys from the 80s But no black and white, I need that in HD Yeah, dog. Yo, what's good y'all? It's your boy Ant here, dog, and we back to it. You know how we do it. I think for the next two to three weeks, or maybe even a little bit longer, I'm gonna start reacting to more Kobe videos, y'all, because as y'all know, if you if you're new to the channel, I am my favorite player of all time is Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant is the reason why I moved to Los Angeles. Like as a nine-year-old kid watching Kobe, I used to always be like, man. When I get old enough, I'm I'm moving to LA because I just always thought like that's what I was supposed to do. So here we are, man. We got a Michael Jordan versus Kobe Bryant video, and I know, I know, man. I already know who the goat is. Michael Jordan is the goat, but Kobe is my goat. You gotta respect that. You have to respect how I feel about that. So before we get into this video. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Where's my Kobe fans at? I feel like I've built the channel up to where I've, you know, created a lot of uh, support from Larry Bird fans and Michael Jordan fans and Magic Johnson fans, but I want to build up this channel for Kobe fans as well. I feel like that would make me so happy. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the Bird gang, I love the Laker gang, I love, you know, the, all the Jordan people. Like, I love all y'all. But it will be nothing like building up this channel with a bunch of Kobe guys, man. And my Lakers just won yesterday, too. Shout out to uh, LeBron and Dennis Schroeder, ADR. Then we got the dub in the play-in game. So we're in the playoffs. So I was like, man, let's just celebrate by reacting to some uh, Kobe Bryant video. But this video is going to be him being compared to Michael Jordan, who was better. And I know this video is going to say Michael Jordan was better because he was. Like, I've watched a lot of highlights of both. And yeah, they, Michael Jordan was just a, a freakish athlete that Kobe didn't have the luxury of being able to be. He wasn't that great of an athlete. Like, don't get me wrong, the footwork, the fadeaway, the post game, like, I think it's all up there with Jordan. Like, I, I really do. But I'm, I'm not going to say that Kobe was better. But let's get into this video, man. Make sure y'all like this video if y'all like this video. Go ahead and write something in the comments. Let me know if there's some people out there that feel like Kobe was better. Write in the comments and let me know why, man. But let's get into this video. We got Michael Jordan versus Kobe Bryant. Who was better? Let's get it. Kobe's career is in the books. There are no more maybes or might bees. We can now evaluate his career as a complete picture. The question is, how great of a career was it? Many would consider Kobe to be the greatest player of all time, or at least the second greatest. Second, Since most second. would consider Michael Jordan to be the GOAT, the question really comes down to, was Kobe better than Jordan? Well, there's only one way to find out. We're going to compare the two side by side. We'll take a look at four categories. Offense, defense, intangibles, and achievements and accolades. Okay, okay. We're also giving you a chance to influence the decision. Make sure you cast your vote in the poll connected to this video. So, let's get started. Let's get started then. Shout out to a woman that's on here talking her first Kobe basketball and shit. Shout out to her. Very similar styles of play. So much so that most would say Kobe straight up copied Jordan's moves and footwork. Now that Are you mad at that though? Are you mad at copying and studying and you know really focusing in on the people on the person that people say is the greatest of all time? I feel like a lot of people kind of talk bad about Kobe. Like, he just wanted to pattern his game with after Michael Jordan. Like, yeah, Michael Jordan was the GOAT. So why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he? Like, like let me know how y'all think about that. If there's anything wrong with that, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, right? True. Both had a wide array of offensive moves, including fadeaways, pull-ups, intricate like footwork, identical, and right athletic ducks. Their similarity probably stems from the fact that they both had the same body type. At 6'6 and around 200 pounds, they both were tall and strong enough to dominate in the post, so it was only natural that Kobe would show off the same moves as Jordan. The same goes for both having excellent footwork. You don't get to be an all-time great without footwork, so it's not surprising that they both share this skill. So in terms of style, they're hey. very similar, but the question is, who did it better? 
there are several pieces of evidence that point to Jordan as the better player. He averaged over 30 points per game for his career to Kobe's 25. Jordan had eight seasons where he averaged 30 or more points per game, where Kobe had just three such seasons. Mm. Jordan also shot a better field goal percentage than Kobe at 49.7 compared to 44.7. They both shot free throws at about the same rate, but Jordan managed to get to the line a bit more than Kobe, an impressive feat when you consider how much physicality was allowed in Jordan's era. Then, of course, there's Jordan's 10 scoring titles to Kobe's two. Mm. Now, there is one major difference between Kobe and Jordan. Kobe shot a lot more three-pointers than Jordan did. While Jordan averaged less than two three-point attempts per game, Kobe more than doubles that average. Now, we've heard some say that three-point shooting was a weakness for Jordan, but a strength for Kobe. The fact is, neither one of them were good at all. Kobe shot 32.9% from the three-point line for his career, and Jordan shot 32.7%. I honestly feel, and let me know how y'all feel about this, but I think that because the three-point shot started becoming a little bit more popular in Kobe's world, and Kobe's, uh, you know, when he was playing, it kind of negatively affected him. Like, I feel like he felt like he had to shoot more threes than he really should have. Like, if he would have had that same mindset that Jordan had, like, he had the Jordan mindset on pretty much everything, except... Yeah, he like shot like double the amount of threes that Jordan shot just because there was the time he was in, which made sense. People were shooting way more threes when, when Kobe was playing, but I, he didn't shoot that well. He shot 32.9%. It wasn't that well. So if he could have knocked that down and like, okay, for example, say if he took six threes a game, shooting 32%, if he would have only shot two threes a game, three threes a game, and instead those, those extra threes that he took, he took mid-range shots, got to the hole, got free throws, uh, got layups, like, he probably would have been a better scorer. So I think the three-point shot kind of messed Kobe up a little bit in a way. But let me know what y'all think. The argument could be made for either player that he made it when it mattered, but that's for a different section. The point that's is, true. this wasn't a strength for either one. But it might affect things like field goal percentage and free throw attempts. Since Kobe shot more three-pointers, that could be why his field goal percentage is lower and why he averaged fewer free throw attempts. It definitely is. On the other hand, this only makes Jordan look even better for averaging over 30 points for his career since he rarely took or made threes. I'm just getting buckets. You could also look at the fact that Jordan averaged more assists than Kobe, though by a slight margin. Kobe showed that he had the ability to do that, but he wasn't as prone to pass as Jordan was. Now, no one is saying Jordan was Magic Johnson. I was say, hold on. He was a scorer for sure. But clearly, Jordan was more willing to pass than Kobe was. Is that true? Would y'all say that Michael Jordan was more of a willing passer than Kobe? I think it was about the same. Like, a, both, early both in their careers, Michael Jordan was, was known to be that, that kind of that selfish player that didn't look for his teammates. And then, you know, later on in his career when he wanted to win, he started doing that. Which I feel like Kobe was in the triangle. Kobe had to, you know, obviously he took the most shots, but he was looking to pass too. Like he couldn't have won those championships without passing. So passing it to Shaq and Paul Gasol, Andrew Bynum, Lamar Odom. Like I don't know, man. Let me know how y'all think about that. Would y'all say that Michael Jordan was more of a willing passer than Kobe? I don't. I don't think so. As a side note, B-Ball Breakdown did an excellent video on this topic. I found it after writing this script, but there are some key points that support what we're saying here, so make sure you check that out. Finally, if you look at more look advanced stats like offensive win shares, PER, effective field goal percentage, and offensive rating, it's not even close. Kobe can't match Jordan's numbers in those categories. The bottom line here is that while their styles were extremely similar offensively, Jordan did it better. Don't get it twisted. Similarity is not the same as equality. Jordan hey, she gotta points, relax, Shot man. a better percentage, got to the line more, and the advanced stats show that this all equaled more wins than Kobe. So, offense goes to Jordan. I give him that. I give him that. Um, I, like I said, it's like he was the teacher. He's Kobe is studying him. Like, how do you? How do you? surpass the master like i'm not really expecting him to be better than jordan like it is what it is but i didn't watch grow up watching jordan i was five years old when he retired for the first time or for the second time 
the, his, the last shot against the uh, Utah Jazz, I was five. So I really wasn't watching that. So all I seen was Kobe. So that's why Kobe is my GOAT. That's why I always got to say Kobe is the GOAT because he's the greatest I ever seen. I don't know what those, with the G, greatest I ever seen. I don't know, but yeah, Kobe is my GOAT. <laughs> they don't spell GOAT, but. The first few numbers people will look at is rebounds, steals, and blocks. Jordan outperforms Kobe in all of these categories, but we're talking one more Kobe used to lock up, though. Less than one more steal and .3 more blocks. In all, they're pretty equal. It's close, so Let's close. Let's dig a little deeper and see what impact they had. We looked at defensive win shares, defensive box plus minus, total rebound percentage, steal percentage, and block percentage. Again, Jordan outshines Kobe in every category. Mm. This is all without even taking into account Jordan's Defensive Player of the Year award. I'm gonna say at this point, this shit ain't even about Kobe no more. Jordan got Defensive Player of the Year. Like I kind of forget about that. Like he got scoring titles, MVPs, Defensive Player of the Years, Finals MVPs. Like he he did everything. Would y'all say that Jordan's the most accomplished basketball player of all time? He has to be. Like you can debate on who the greatest is, him, Kareem, uh, Dr. J, LeBron. Like you can you can put all these different people on there who the actual goat is, but or will. But would you say that he is the most accomplished? I gotta go. I gotta go with Jordan, man. Jordan also has just as many All Defensive First Team selections as Kobe, despite playing five fewer seasons. Now you could say that Jordan had more leeway when playing defense, since rules involving hand checking and overall contact weren't in place when he played. However, a lot of those rules were put in place in the 2000 and 2004 seasons, and when you compare Kobe's numbers before and after those seasons, there isn't much difference. Kobe used now, to lock up, man. calling this category, let's clarify one thing. Both Kobe and Jordan were terrific defenders. However, you have to ignore a lot of information to say that Kobe was better than Jordan. We're giving this one to Jordan. Defensive player of the year. Like, Kobe never got a defensive player of the year. That's, that's all Jordan, Jordan needed to be better. Things like leadership, consistency, and the big one, clutch play. Killer instinct. When it comes to Kobe and Jordan, the only one that really matters is clutch play. Kobe was kind of a jerk, but Jordan was too, just maybe more charismatic. Anyway, the only thing people really argue about is who made more game winners. Both have the reputation for being two of the most clutch players in NBA history. But does that hold up under scrutiny? Now, this can be a hard stat to measure since a lot of people have different definitions of clutch play or situations. So, we'll just look at everything. We'll start with their overall playoff performances. Every game, every round. For the most part, both perform well. Jordan's numbers go up a bit, while Kobe's generally stay the same. Of course, Jordan's numbers are generally better than Kobe's already, but we've covered that in the previous categories. Let's narrow it down to elimination games and game sevens, when the pressure is at its highest. Mm. In both scenarios, Jordan outperforms Kobe. Jordan even performed above his averages in these situations, whereas Kobe did the opposite. Let's get to even more clutch situations. Game winners. When it comes to potential game tying or go ahead shots in the final 24 seconds of the fourth quarter or overtime in playoff games, Jordan made 50% of his shots. Kobe made just 25% of his shots Damn. in those situations. As a note, the league average for these shots is about 28%, so while Jordan is way above average, Kobe is about as likely to make a game winner as any other player in the league. I don't believe that though. If you narrow it down to the final 10 seconds, same kind of shot, Jordan made 47% of those Ooh, shots, while Kobe made just 23%. So while both players have the reputation for being clutch shooters, only one of them actually was. Kobe made a few big shots, but the numbers are undeniable. Kobe simply was not as clutch as people give him credit for. We're giving this category to Jordan. So far, Jordan is leading the series 3-zip. Damn, Let's come on, Kobe. We gotta win something. 
In this category, it's a little closer. Kobe has more All-NBA and All-Defensive selections overall, as well as more, more All-NBA first-team selections, while they're tied for All-Defensive first-team selections. Kobe also made more All-Star games and won All-Star Game MVP one more time than Jordan. However, Kobe Jordan has MVPs? more MVPs, Finals MVPs, rings, and scoring titles, and won Defensive Player of the Year and Rookie of the Year, which Kobe did not. Also, without sounding biased, we feel it's important to point out that Kobe played six more complete seasons than Jordan, so his leads are not really that impressive. However, the fact is, Kobe played those seasons, and he won those awards. That being said, Jordan still has more wins in this category. Now, you could get into the teams Jordan played on that allowed him to win so many rings and all that, but that's for a different video. In fact, we did a video on that if you'd like to check it out. Simply put, we're giving this category to Jordan. So there you have it. It turned out to be not a close competition at all. Now, to <laughs> be fair, relax, Jordan man. would probably blow anyone out in this sort of competition right. because, well, he's just that good. That's why he's the greatest of all time. Kobe is also a great player, but he just can't compare to Jordan. And we didn't even include everything in this video. There is even more information you could use to support Jordan. In the end, it's clear. Jordan is the GOAT. At least according to us. Now it's your chance to let your voice be heard. Cast your vote using the poll in this video and leave a comment below telling us what you think. Make sure you subscribe for more NBA Top 10s. Great video. Uh, well, I guess it wasn't that great for me because I was hoping that Kobe was going to do a little better, but it is what it is, man. Jordan is the go. I feel like this video really hadn't, was, really wasn't a diss to Kobe at all. It was just really just showing how great Jordan was. Like, Jordan would do that to anybody. Like, if you compare the stats, like, Jordan would wipe anybody out. So, actually, yeah, let me know in the comments who would have came closer than Kobe in that. Would have been Larry Bird? Would have been Will Chamberlain? Would have been uh, LeBron? Like, let me know who would have made that, that comparison better. But I appreciate y'all for watching this video with me. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Don't get it twisted. We're going to watch the last Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant duo, too. We're going to watch that. We're going to watch the last time they played against each other. That was a, yeah, yeah. We're going we gonna to watch that. That's all I'm going to say. But I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all like this video if y'all like this video. And go ahead and write something in the comments. For all my Kobe fans out there, write something in the comments. But I appreciate y'all, like always.